Hello fellow adventurers and collectors, Swimaholic here, and today we're going to be unboxing a couple of things that I ordered online, and in the case of I shouldn't be on there looking at random things again, <laughs> I found some cool pieces that I wanted to add to my collection, so in the previous episode of Frafpoo, or Filmaholic's recent action figure pickups, that's a mouthful, but uh, in that last episode I mentioned that uh, there was a figure that I originally wanted, but was so rare I couldn't uh, I couldn't imagine getting it so lo and behold after I of course bought my own figure of the re-release I found the head and that goes to show you my luck when it comes to this thing this type of thing so yeah I was fortunate enough to come across this listing and I was able to pick it up and I pretty much bought it right away I think he had listed it like 10 minutes before I found it but I knew I had to pick it up at the very least because <laughs> I don't know why it's the exact same head sculpt it just has different paint and the eyes are in a different position but man I remember all that time pining over this figure and to see just the head I was like I need to get this so I need to work on getting a body for it so that's another thing on the list but uh here it is and uh yeah I do like the paint apps on this one more it just seems more natural and has a more uh, solid looking paint application to me it seems like the re-release does have a little bit of a softer edge to it so yeah I, I need to work on getting a body for this the one I do have is a bit uh, loose so I don't want to use that one for this and I'm not sure what I want to do with this guy I pretty much like I said just bought it because I knew I <laughs> wanted it for so long but uh, it's always good to get more hands and these are actually without tattoos so I can use them with any other gangsters kingdom of the same complexion so so yeah with that I uh, again was looking online and I uh, and I've been uh, pretty much in a gangsters kingdom kick and I saw another figure that I wanted for a while and it was on the list when I originally started collecting these guys so uh, this is my first time owning this figure and to be honest with you I wasn't anticipating it being so tiny so that should give you some clues as to which character it is but yeah I again I want to kitbash these characters into a more military kind of look so I ended up parting out some of the accessories just to recoup some of the cost and I'll be honest I overpaid for what I got <laughs> but um it's a figure I don't necessarily see it too often and I don't know what what do collectors do to justify the cost of some of these things to be honest with you but uh as you can see it's officer a lewis and this is the police officer that's in that line and i want to say it was a side story it wasn't necessarily part of the main line of characters but i like the head sculpt and uh like i said it was an opportunity i couldn't pass up because i remember when i first got into the line i think this figure was just coming out and i had passed on it thinking I can get it later on and lo and behold I wasn't able to do that so yeah and I was, as you can see here in a, later, a future uh, video segment it is really tiny and just by looking at the hands I was like geez that's so small but yeah it, uh, the typical damn toys quality is here with the uniform and everything so I wasn't too worried about that it's just again was not anticipating it being so small the frame itself is really small so I kind of worry about it breaking I'm tempted to almost replace it but the ball joint in the head is really big so I think it would be a hot toys or uh, another damn toys body I would have to replace it with so and as you can see with age the hairband actually broke so I ended up tying a little bit of elastic around it myself so as you can see here she is tiny holy cow <laughs> she's a lot shorter than the two uh, Gregs I essentially have so I don't know I mean she's even smaller than the Fison body that I have so I kind of worry that she's a little bit too small but I guess it all works out in the end because not every person is the same size so my only concern in the long run would be to uh, run into problems with the body breaking or something like that so I'm going to do my best to be more fragile uh, not fragile be more careful with this as opposed to my Fison figure, which is, you know, I know is is easily repair or easily replaced. Now, the reason this video is so late is because I was waiting for this package to come in, and uh, I initially bought these clothes for Officer A. Lewis, but 
upon looking at them, I think I'm going to use them for my Tomb Raider custom. And as many of you know, I wasn't happy with the outfit set that I had at the time, so I'm kind of wanting to upgrade it. And it ended up selling the body that I had for that one, so I need to get a new body for it. And I also have plans to get another female head to do another military custom. But that's beside the point. These clothes here are actually from ZC Toys Mur Muriel. It's the Metal Gear Solid uh, figure that they came out with a long time ago. And again, that was another figure I wanted, but I, again, passed up on it many times. And looking at it now, parted out, I, didn't, I think I did uh, make the right choice because the body is kind of wonky. It looks, like a, it looks like a female version of the Sideshow bodies. That's what I was trying to get at. And it just doesn't look sturdy enough, so I think I did a good job on passing on up, passing up on it. But I did buy the shirt and the jacket from this seller here, and I think these would work well with the Tomb Raider custom better than the Officer A. Lewis. So that leaves me with the challenge of finding clothes for Officer A. Lewis instead of these. So. Uh, be sure to look out for that when I buy more stuff that I don't need but uh, yeah I was glad I was able to come across these because I do like the quality of the jacket and the shirt because you don't really see this in many of the kits out there and uh, just a moment to rant about that is just I don't understand why everything has to be so basic when it comes to the female clothing it's either really sexualized or it doesn't seem very practical at all. So when it comes to this kind of stuff, I was willing to pay a little bit more because this seems to be more realistic in that regard. So yeah, I think I'm going to use these items for a Tomb Raider custom. And when that comes around, I'm going to definitely make an update video on that because I think uh, along this line, I'm going to be making a better custom than I originally made so I'm looking forward to that as well and like most any other collector can say a lot of this is an ongoing project so as you can see here this is how tiny she is compared to the TB League body that I have so yeah I mean I guess it's realistic in the regard that not everyone's the same height but I don't know it just seems really tiny I'm almost half tempted to replace it but at the moment I'm perfectly fine with it so with that said you can see the customs that I'm working on here with the uh, Gangsters Kingdom crew and I ended up giving my Danny Trejo figure to a good friend of mine, so that's why he's no longer with us, but he's with us in spirit. <laughs> so with that all said and done, I appreciate you guys checking this video out. And if you, feel, if you feel so inclined, please like, comment, and or subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.